of the metal voice today on the show special guest Charles Lavery lead vocalist of Dragon's Claw Charles how's Germany today it's gray it's cold I was in Florida a week ago man <laughs> I'm just getting used to the German weather again but it's all good we're here to talk about Halloween's new album my god given rights so here we go my god given right first impression Charles right off the bat 30 seconds First impression, yeah, well, it's another Halloween album. Is it is it as good as albums past? I don't think so. Is it is it their worst album? Absolutely not. Is there some standout tracks? Absolutely. Is there some filler? Absolutely. Your thoughts, Jimmy? My thoughts, right off the bat, I couldn't stand the album. I, 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 I sent you a message right away. I go, Charles, I can't stand this album. However, saying that, the more listens on this LP, or on this CD or on this album, I grew to really enjoy it and like it. Um, Charles, how about you? The more listens you got, you had, did you find? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Standout tracks for me. I mean, it starts off strong with um, Heroes Battles One. Um, I think Stay Crazy is kind of that typical goofy Halloween song that you're either gonna love or hate. They've always kind of had them. I really like Lost in America. I think that is kind of classic you know halloween it's got a you know that really melodic uh, fast power metal uh, with a little bit of humor um swing of a fallen world i thought was a really really cool song that reminds me a little bit of something from uh, better than raw which is one of my favorite halloween records yeah um and then it kind of loses me a little bit the second half of the record i just don't think is quite as strong it's it's it sounds to me like you know it could be a you know, hey, you know, five or six, half a dozen other Halloween albums kind of getting a little interchangeable at this point. Um, they used to have some, I mean, I, I really liked it when they would experiment a little bit, and I know a lot, not, not every fan likes albums like Pink Bubbles and Chameleon, yeah. and, and even, you know, some of the, the later ones like uh, Better Than Raw or Dark Ride, but I really liked when they experimented, and every album kind of had a distinctive sound. I feel that they're getting a little samey at this point. That was my first impression, I, first spin. I thought, wow, they've hit, so like you said, they hit a creative wall. But upon multiple listens, like I said before, this album is definitely a grower. I think this is straight out of hell part two. However, on this album, it's, I think it's probably one of their most melodic or one of their most commercial. I mean, track after track, they're, the melodies are very catchy but it takes a while to get into and I was kind of blown away I, I think this is a this is very high up in the catalog of Halloween especially in the Andy Darris years for myself standout tracks again like you said heroes uh, battles one my god given right stay crazy lost in America very very catchy and I found the second part of the album to be just as good as the first part of the album but the second half was a little more there's a lot more variety, like you said. Um, the Swing of the Fallen World, that was more like a, a, a darker song, uh, uh, as well as Creatures in Heaven. And you know, I agree with you. You know, the God loves rock and roll and the Russian roulette. I mean, it's kind of cheesy, you know. I don't know, the lyrics are... I, I, I would, those, for me, were those the, the worst tracks on the album. But the closer, uh, You Still of War, was... A perfect Halloween song and you have the keyboard sort of like in the background but they kind of like peek their head up and then they disappear again I, I thought it was very catchy and cool right well I, I kind of I, I agree with a lot of what you say there but I also as far as commercial I mean I'm, I'm assuming you mean accessible, accessible. You know, kind of ca catchy and melodic for me that's Master of the Rings that's the perfect Halloween album for the, I mean, that's one of my f absolute favorite Halloween records because it is so accessible, so melodic, so catchy. It's also heavy and it's so well written. 
for me, that's kind of the high watermark of the Andy Derris era. Yeah. That personally, I don't think they have ever really captured again. They've come close. I love uh, Tom the Oath. I love Better Than Raw. They kind of lost me a little bit in the 2000s. Um, certainly some very, very, very good songs, but the consistency I just for me wasn't there. I honestly cannot stand the production of their recent albums. No. This this overproduced Euro metal sound. I just you know where drums sound like a machine, and I really it's a pet peeve of mine. It may not be everyone's opinion. I prefer a more natural sound like they had on Time of the Oath and Master and things like that, where a drum sounded like Rainbow Rising, Cozy Powell, rather than a you know a, a machine. Yeah, well, uh, I, mean, that's it, I know sound. it's just the, it's the modern style of production. I know you know people like Andy Sneap, they kind of pioneered that kind of thing, but it's just not for me. Yeah, let's understand. So in the catalog, let, let's put it with the Darius years and the Keith gears. Where okay. would you place it in the in the Halloween catalog? Well, for me, I mean, the, I, I love Seven Keys one and two. I'm not nailed to them like some fans are. I really, I mean, I probably like Master of the Rings and Time of the Oath a little bit more, even you know, because they're not so overplayed. This, I think, is a better record than The Dark Ride, a better record than Seven Sinners. I didn't really like either of those two, but I don't think this is a better record than Straight Out of Hell. I think this falls a little short of that because I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, yeah, me too. And somewhere kind of between Keeper Part Three and Straight Out of Hell, kind of, yeah. You know, although you know, I, although I thought Gambling with the Devil was a really, really, really good record too. Yeah. So I think it's probably somewhere. There's songs that are kind of you know of that quality of that era. But overall, for me, it's it's not a favourite. It's probably you know I don't like Dark Ride and Seven Seven uh, Seven Sinners, but this is better than them. If you get my drift. As for me, if I would take the whole Cal Halloween catalog, it would be somewhere in the middle. And this is including the Keys Gears. If I was just right. to take the Darius Years, it'd be above the middle for myself. I think this is probably just as good as Straight Out of Hell. Okay. In fact, I would even say maybe as right now where I'm at, a little bit better than Straight Out of wow. Hell is a part two for me. That's myself. Okay. Okay. Uh, I like the production. I beg to differ. I think the production is just as good as this album as it was last time. The drum blast, I enjoy. I mean, I get it. It's a lot. It's Halloween where they are today. And, you know, they're anthemic. The double drum, it's their speed metal. I mean, this is speed metal, right? And they, you can be you can be speed, you, you can be speed metal without having the drums sound like a like a drum computer though you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know I, I like it I mean again it's a matter of taste I think the true Halloween fans are gonna like this album um, I, I would definitely what would you rate it out of ten yeah it's about a six for me oh like six <laughs> for myself like six. I, I started off as a six then it climbed to a seven eight. Now I'm around, I'm hovering about 8.6, 8.7 out of 10. Then you say, this right, is, well, this is a very I don't, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be negative. I, a high six for me is a good album. All right. <laughs> I hope you say so. <laughs> it is for me. I throw out threes and fours normally. All right. There you have it. Halloween. God given right to be released God at the God. end of May all around the world. Charles, thanks for being on the show. Rock on, brother.